Conference in San Francisco, speaking with Jonathan Bryce of Rackspace, and he's going to tell us a little bit about OpenStack. Um, so how did OpenStack get started? Tell us about the collaboration of the companies involved sure. and individuals. So OpenStack is a, it's an open source project that is creating um, a, basically a cloud operating system that anyone can use to deploy um, a compute cloud, storage clouds, whether they're a service provider or an enterprise, into, uh, into you know, data centers. And it started out as a collaboration between Rackspace and NASA. Um, at Rackspace, we run one of the largest public clouds in the world um, with, uh, with tens of thousands of servers and lots and lots of customers. And we've been doing it for, um, for about six years now. And NASA had built a, a cloud inside the government. And they, um, you know, keep track of a lot of data. They have they send a lot of probes, satellites out into space. They send back a lot of data. Then they can process that data and, and explore the solar system, steady the Earth. And, and so um, they had built a cloud for their scientists to use, and, and actually some other government agencies were using it as well. So we had, um, we had these two clouds that had been built for different purposes, but we both kind of came to the uh, decision to open source and, uh, and decided that it would be powerful to combine our efforts and, and launch a, an initiative together that, uh, that could really gain some momentum, get developers and companies behind it, and, uh, and you know, drive towards creating a ubiquitous software platform that anyone could use to build uh, to build clouds out. So there's about 60 members of the collaboration right now. We actually just looked at the numbers, and uh, the latest is uh, there. There are about 80. Great. So when we started, we had about 20 companies that uh, that you know heard about what we were doing, and uh, and last July, June, July, when we um, when we launched OpenStack, they were involved. Since then, it's grown to about 80 companies, and these are companies who um, who are involved in OpenStack in various ways. Uh, a number of them, like Cisco and Citrix and Dell and Rackspace and others have uh, have full-time employees who are writing software and, and developing the software and so you know every day the, um, they're helping to make OpenStack better uh, making it have more features and, and just you know progressing with it uh, then there are some who are uh, kind of in the ecosystem of OpenStack and they help other companies deploy it they help companies use it uh, they um, they build tools that help you manage OpenStack and so you know th that's kind of what the what the um, the ecosystem is made up of and in addition to that there are hundreds of developers uh, who some of them are working on this for their day job, some of them are working on it because they believe that you know this is a, this is a project that is really going to impact the future of, of how technology is consumed and delivered. Great. Tell us about the three projects that are currently underway. So um, OpenStack has a, has a lot going on. There are three core projects, and uh, the, the three projects are OpenStack Compute, which is uh, software that lets you build out um, virtualization automation. It's hypervisor and hardware agnostic, so you can run on top of commodity hardware or enterprise hardware. You can use Zen, you can use Zen Server, you can use KVM, you can use Hyper-V, you can use ESX. You know, really a broad range of technology choices. What OpenStack does is automate provisioning across that infrastructure and let you scale out to, you know, from a few servers to thousands of servers and, and do it all in an automated way. Um, there's another project called OpenStack Object Storage, which is a storage system that gives you uh, really cost-effective, reliable storage on top of commodity hardware, and uh, and it lets you um, take advantage of, of you know the falling prices in, in, in the hard drive space, and uh, and and the uh, this is um, this software came from the Rackspace Cloud Files product, and so it's tested at scale, very reliable, and uh, and you know really something that that is that a lot of people use for backups, archives, for storing static images and media files, um, and then the third project is the OpenStack Image Service, and the Image Service. Is a it's an image and, and uh, service and registry that lets you take the data from virtual machines and store it onto cheap storage, keep track of where it is, and uh, and and then use that to deploy from backups to deploy clones of, of machines and and those are the three projects. So what are the timelines for um, so deploying? We, yeah, we launched OpenStack uh, the project last summer, and uh, we've actually had three releases at this point. Um, the the uh, object storage system is very stable and very mature. It's been running in production at Rackspace for 
for quite a while uh, with, like I said, a lot of a lot of usage. The compute project was something that came out of NASA and uh, and was at a, a good level for them to use, but didn't have all of the features that, that we had already launched in our cloud. So we've been working on adding those features in, and um, and the upcoming release I think is going to be the one that that is uh, is is has really rolled all of that in. Um, it's called Diablo. It's going to be coming out in September, um, and uh, and that's that's going to be a really important release for uh, for OpenStack Compute. Um, so who are benef who's benefiting from this? Cloud providers, enterprises, yes. uh, yeah, so government. You mentioned government. Right. What's interesting is because it has this history that is kind of public service provider and government, um, it has a lot of input from different use cases that make it useful for, for really anybody who wants to deploy a cloud. If you need to deploy a cloud because you are a, a service provider and you want to build um, great product offerings for, for your customers, then you know that's what we're doing at Rackspace, that's what Internap is doing, um, that's what you know other companies are doing. Uh, if you are an enterprise and what you need to do is, is have a, a cloud internally that you can use, that you can uh, make your IT operations more efficient, then OpenStack is, is also good for that. It's Apache license, it's open source, there are no licensing fees, so that's something that you know can kind of break the, uh, the stranglehold that some of the proprietary enterprise um, technologies have had for a while. And, uh, and it's also you know, got this big ecosystem that's, that's rapidly developing very quickly. Uh, and uh, and you know, there are a number of companies who are focused on making it easier to use and more valuable in the enterprise. One of them is, is Citrix. Citrix just recently announced at their Synergy Summit that they're going to be doing an OpenStack distribution. Um, and it's currently, it's codenamed Project Olympus. And this is, uh, this is something that I think is, you know, it's directly focused at enterprises uh, because Citrix has great connection with them and virtualization and virtual desktops. And, uh, and they're hearing from their customers, you know, that, that we need something in the private cloud space that's, that's ready to go, that's scalable, that's cheap that is going to be very efficient for our IT departments. You know, Citrix thinks that OpenStack is the answer and they've gone out and built a product around it. Excellent. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I think you know, OpenStack is, has uh, taken off far more than we expected and, and uh, we love everyone to come get involved. Great. Thank you.